only way, the only way. As we prepare to remember, uh, to celebrate the remembrance of the death and resurrection of Jesus, I feel we need to look at things together that are very, very crucial, especially in this Lent period. Uh, one of the things that we need to know is what does Jesus stand for? Why did he die? Why did they die in the first place for us? I remember the conversation Jesus had with his disciples in John chapter 14. And I'll read verse 5 and 6. John chapter 14, 5 and 6. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. That was what the response Jesus gave to uh, Thomas. And if we look at our world today, there are so many ways now. If you agree with me, so many ways. People feel that you can get to God through any means. But according to the scripture, the Bible says that Jesus confirmed that is the only way, the truth and the life. We can only reach the Father through Christ Jesus. That is the reason the Lord um, came to die for you and I. And when we want to celebrate Easter, we, as we move into that season, we need to remind ourselves this fact, this truth, that Christ came to die for you specifically so that you can have access to the Father, so that I can have on in that access to the Father. Is the his blood was used to, to, to ratify our membership in the household of faith. We we uh, with Adam we lost every contact with God. With Adam, with the first um, uh, first man, we lost every contact with God. But with the death and resurrection of Jesus, we have everything in relationship with the Father. We can fellowship with Him. All we need to do is to believe. Once you believe in your heart and you're able to confess it with your mouth, Jesus is the way, the only way to the Father. The one who has given himself for you and I so that we can have a life eternal with Jesus. And to be honest with you, it starts from here. If you look at John chapter 17, it talks about knowing Jesus is eternal life. If you know Jesus, is eternal life. The moment you know him, the moment you have a contact with Jesus, the eternal life starts from here. He's the only way. Remember, he's the only way, the truth and the life. That no one comes to the Father, no one comes to God except through him. People have discounted the Father. The only way is Jesus. They want to try and find alternatives, but there, are, there can't be any. According to the Bible, according to the scripture, there can be any. So I want to encourage you today to just focus on him the only way. There's no point looking at looking elsewhere because you can't find any way elsewhere to get through to the Father. The only way is Jesus. The only way is Jesus. I thank God for, for you and for you know your journey with Jesus. And I pray for you today that as you continue to walk with him, trusting him, as the only way you have more revelations of the identity of Christ the divinity of Christ because in him alone you can you discover your own identity Jesus is the only way the truth and the life let's keep this close to our hearts even as we prepare this Lent period as we prepare for the remembrance of death and resurrection of Jesus thanks for listening stay connected to the only way through whom you can get to the Father. God bless you.